Last summer, Fox 11 reported on a series of controversial social media posts from Tiffany Blacknell, a public defender who, at the time, was also helping with George Gascon's campaign for district attorney. During the George Floyd unrest in L.A., Blacknell called the LAPD barbarians in a tweet and described them as an occupying army with the hashtag defund police. She posted that prison is obsolete and called for prisons to be abolished. She posted on Facebook during mass looting in Los Angeles last May that she herself was a looter during the 1992 Rodney King riots and she had a message for anyone complaining about the looting of West Hollywood or Santa Monica. Cry me a river. She has also posted a selfie wearing a t-shirt that says the police are trained to kill us. Now Fox 11 has confirmed that DA George Gascon is bringing Black Nell over from the public defender's office and is hiring her as a grade four deputy DA. That's the second highest grade a prosecutor can achieve and she'll have a salary of up to $15,000 per month. It's really unfortunate and I think it's unfair. Cindy Wallace has been a prosecutor in the DA's office for almost 13 years. She's a grade three and says Black Nell's hire doesn't smell right. It seems like she was, mm, I don't know, given some sort of preferential treatment for helping George Gascon with his election being on the transition team. It's sort of nepotistic a bit. I think it's kind of a slap in the face to all, all of our members who are patiently waiting to, uh, for a promotion. Eric Sidal is the vice president of the union representing prosecutors in the LADA's office. He says, according to office policy, a grade four prosecutes the most difficult and complex felony cases and is required to have at least two years of experience working as a grade three deputy DA. Experience that Black Nell does not have. What's curious is that a grade four position requires prosecutorial experience um, I don't believe she has any. I think what is uh, what is really at issue is is that um, Mr. Gascon just doesn't seem to like to follow the rules. This is really about political cronyism rather than someone who's actually uh, meets the qualification standards of a, of a of the grade four position. She has put in some really negative, toxic things about the law enforcement community. And these are people that as a prosecutor, you work directly with. Nothing she has tweeted has shown that she has any respect for uh, law enforcement or even the prosecutors. And it's just, it's amazing and mind blowing that she would now want to come to our office. As Fox 11 reported in December, while serving as a public defender, Black Nell was also involved in an alleged secret sweetheart plea deal offer of seven years to a suspected gang murderer behind the backs of the prosecutor on the case and the family of Fernando Rojo, the murdered victim in the case. How is it that our loved one it's worth seven years. That deal fell apart after Judge Mark Arnold found out about it and criticized it. Now the union representing LAPD rank and file is slamming Gascon's decision to hire Black Nell, telling Fox 11, quote, it's unconscionable but not surprising that George Gascon would appoint someone as a top prosecutor who just a few months ago was involved in a secret deal to get her criminal defendant client a sweetheart deal on a murder charge. Once again, Gascon is thumbing his nose at crime victims by hiring someone who wants to abolish prisons, defund public safety, and who has expressed outright hatred toward police officers. With murders and shootings at a 10-year high, do we really need criminal defense attorneys on both sides of the aisle? I reached out to Mr. Gascon's administration with specific questions about whether or not Gascon condemns Blacknell's social media posts and how she's supposed to work with police as a prosecutor given her anti-police rhetoric. I was only told, quote, DA Gascon has the utmost confidence in his executive team and is looking forward to having Tiffany Blacknell join the office. And I'm told Black now will officially start her new job sometime in March. We did reach out to her today for a comment, but we never heard back. In West L.A., Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.